While we Earthlings count a day being about 24 hours from sunup to sunup, the length of a single day on another planet is quite different. In some cases, they are very short. In others, they can last longer than years, sometimes considerably. Let's go over how time works on other planets and see just how long their days can be, shall we? Mercury The planet Mercury takes 59 Earth days to spin once on its axis. That may seem long, but think about this. Its year is only 88 Earth days long. That's because it orbits very close to the Sun. As a result, a Mercurian year is only 1.5 times longer than a Mercurian day. There's a twist, however. While it takes approximately 58 Earth days for the planet to complete one full rotation around its axis, this does not imply that Mercury experiences two sunrises within this time frame. Due to its close proximity to the Sun and the rapid speed at which it orbits around it, it actually takes it around 176 Earth days for the Sun to reappear in the same position in Mercury's sky. Therefore, despite the planet's rotational period of 58 Earth days, it takes roughly 176 Earth days for one sunrise to the next on Mercury. What's more, Mercury's northern polar regions are constantly enveloped in shadow. This occurs due to its axial tilt being a mere 0.034 degrees, significantly smaller compared to Earth's 23.4 degree tilt. Consequently, the planet does not experience extreme seasonal variations, where days and nights can extend for months depending on the season. Instead, the poles of Mercury remain perpetually dim and shaded, akin to a state of constant twilight. Venus Venus, the second planet from the Sun, exhibits a rather unique pattern. It has an extremely slow rotational speed, with its surface moving at a mere 6.5 kilometers per hour. Consequently, it takes approximately 243 Earth days for Venus to complete one rotation, making its day longer than its year. So, the day is actually longer than a year, which means that Venus residents would only get to see two sunrises per year. One more fact to remember, Venus spins backward on its axis compared to Earth, which means those two yearly sunrises take place in the west and sunsets occur in the east. Earth When we think of a day on Earth, we tend to think of it as a simple 24-hour interval. In truth, it takes the Earth exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds to rotate once on its axis. Meanwhile, on average, a solar day on Earth is 24 hours long, which means it takes that amount of time for the Sun to appear in the same place in the sky. Between these two values, we say a single day and night cycle lasts an even 24 hours. At the same time, there are variations in the length of a single day on the planet, based on seasonal cycles. Due to Earth's axial tilt, the amount of sunlight experienced in certain hemispheres will vary. The most extreme case of this occurs at the poles, where day and night can last for days or months depending on the season. At the North and South Poles during the winter, a single night can last up to six months, which is known as polar night. During the summer, the Poles will experience what is called a midnight sun, where a day lasts a full 24 hours. So really, days are not as simple as we like to imagine. But compared to other planets in the solar system, time management is still easier here on Earth. Mars in many respects, Mars can also be called Earth's twin. Just like Earth, Mars possesses polar ice caps, experiences seasonal changes, and even harbors water, although in frozen form. Surprisingly, a day on Mars is quite similar to a day on Earth. It takes Mars approximately 24 hours, 37 minutes, and 22 seconds to complete a full rotation on its axis, resulting in a Martian day being equivalent to 1.025957 Earth days. The seasonal cycles on Mars, stemming from its axial tilt of 25.19 degrees, slightly higher than Earth's 23.4 degrees, closely mirror the ones we encounter on our home planet. As a result, Martian days experience similar variations, with the sun rising sooner and setting later in the summer, and then experiencing the reverse in winter. However, 
seasonal variations last twice as long on Mars, thanks to Mars being at a greater distance from the Sun. This leads to the Martian year being about two Earth years long, 687 Earth days to be exact. As a result, longer days and longer nights can be expected to last much longer on the Red Planet. Something for future colonists to consider. Jupiter Given the fact that it is the largest planet in the solar system, one would expect that a day on Jupiter would last a long time. But as it turns out, a Jovian day lasts a mere 9 hours and 56 minutes, making it slightly over a third the duration of an Earth day. This rapid pace can be attributed to Jupiter's remarkable rotational speed, which measures 12.6 km per second at its equator. This high rotational speed is also responsible for the planet's tempestuous and violent storms. However, it's important to note the use of the term officially. Since Jupiter is not a solid entity, its upper atmosphere undergoes a different rate of rotation compared to its equatorial region. Specifically, the rotation of Jupiter's polar atmosphere is about 5 minutes longer than that of its equatorial atmosphere. So, hypothetically speaking, if one could stand on the cloud tops of Jupiter, or perhaps on a floating platform in geosynchronous orbit, they would witness the mesmerizing spectacle of the sun rising and setting in less than 10 hours, regardless of their latitude. Furthermore, throughout a single Jovian year, the sun would rise and set approximately 10,476 times, painting a truly dynamic and ever-changing celestial panorama. Saturn Saturn's situation is very similar to that of Jupiter's. Despite its massive size, the planet has an estimated rotational velocity of 9.68 km per second. As such, Saturn takes about 10 hours and 33 minutes and 38 seconds to complete a single side reel rotation, making a single day on Saturn less than half of what it is here on Earth. Here too, this rapid movement of the atmosphere leads to some super storms, not to mention the hexagonal pattern around the planet's North Pole and a vortex storm around its South Pole. And also like Jupiter, Saturn takes its time orbiting the Sun. With an orbital period that is the equivalent of 10,759 Earth days or 29.5 Earth years, a single Saturnian year lasts roughly 24,491 Saturnian days. However, like Jupiter, Saturn's atmosphere rotates at different speeds depending on latitude. Uranus When we come to Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, the question of how long is a day becomes a bit complicated. The planet has a side real rotation period of 17 hours, 14 minutes, and 24 seconds, which is the equivalent of 0.71833 Earth days. So you could say a day in Uranus lasts almost as long as a day on Earth. It would be true were it not for the extreme axial tilt this gas ice giant has going on. With an axial tilt of 97.77 degrees, Uranus essentially orbits the Sun on its side. This means that either its north or south pole is pointed almost directly at the Sun at different times in its orbital period. When one pole is going through summer on Uranus, it will experience 42 years of continuous sunlight. When the same pole is pointed away from the Sun, i.e. Uranian winter, it will experience 42 years of continuous darkness. Hence, you might say that a single day, from one sunrise to the next, lasts a full 84 years on Uranus. In other words, a single Uranian day is the same amount of time as a single Uranian year, which means 84.0205 Earth years. In addition, as with the other gas ice giants, Uranus rotates faster at certain latitudes. Ergo, while the planet's rotation is 17 hours and 14 and a half minutes at the equator, at about 60 degrees south, visible features of the atmosphere move much faster, making a full rotation in as little as 14 hours. Neptune Last but not least, we have Neptune, the farthest known planet in the solar system. Here too, measuring a single day is somewhat complicated. Neptune's side real rotation period is roughly 16 hours, 6 minutes, and 36 seconds, the equivalent of 0.6713 Earth days. But, due to it being a gas ice giant, the poles of the planet rotate faster than the equator, whereas the planet's magnetic field has a rotational speed of 16.1 hours, 
the wide equatorial zone rotates with a period of about 18 hours. Meanwhile, the polar regions rotate the fastest at a period of 12 hours. This differential rotation is the most pronounced of any planet in the solar system and it results in strong latitudinal wind shear. In addition, the planet's axial tilt of 28.32 degrees results in seasonal variations that are similar to those on Earth and Mars. The long orbital period of Neptune means that the seasons last for 40 Earth years. But, because its axial tilt is comparable to Earth's, the variation in the length of its day over the course of its long year is not any more extreme. So, Earthlings, as we journey through the planets, we see that time truly dances to its own beat in the cosmos. Days can be shorter than blinks or longer than lifetimes, depending on where you stand. And when you venture beyond our earthly home, be prepared for a mind-bending experience where day and night take on a whole new meaning. We hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding adventures.